My drive home is gonna suck. All right, so I'm basing this video off of four basic groups, amenities, location, pricing, and vibe. Amenities from pools to wash arenas to uh, showers and so on and so forth. Location, is it gonna be close to my job? Is it gonna be close to downtown? Is it on the border of the city? Pricing, pricing is a variable. It, you know, I, I've seen prices between 450 to $900. Um, vibe, vibe is actually my favorite. Uh, group I want to put down like does it have a hippie vibe does it have a homey vibe and I'm gonna have a scoring system between 0 and 10 10 being the best 0 being the worst so that's the rundown of this video there seems to be a little bit of a traffic bottleneck at this part of Bastrop there's a lot of traffic in this particular area going into the city and you can see uh, It's not super fancy. They got rules, no outside lawn furniture, uh, barbecue pits, street legal vehicles, no more than four people per unit, no pets without special permission. It's a, I got a feeling this is not like, I got a feeling they don't have permanent residency here. But I'm gonna go find out. So, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and give a rundown of this place. This is uh, Cedar Valley, and they're full right now. I got their number. They're only $4.75 a month with 200 deposit. That doesn't include electricity, so you have to buy your electricity. And uh, there is no yearly, there's no limit. So you can rent one here, a spot, and basically just stay here. But fortunately, they're full. And it is kind of dinky. So I'm going to go ahead and drive around. I'm just drive around here. Highway 71, Highway 71 RV Park, and it's the first one that I particularly like so far. I'm gonna give, I'm gonna give a vibe score on my video. This one gives me a good vibe because it's quiet. You do hear the road, but also I'm learning a lot about RV parks as I'm touring around, checking them out. Uh, about fees and limitations. And I've learned that if I go out and buy like a uh, an older diesel pusher, it has to be approved by the office. So anything older in 10 years, and I don't know what it is, I, I found this out this, at the other RV park I traveled to. Uh, anything older than 10 years has to be, you have to send pictures, I, I don't understand the logic in it, but uh, apparently, uh, I don't know. But this one will allow ones that are older than 10 years, and this has to be approved on the office. So I'm kind of fascinated about that. But rates here are like between five and $800. And they will allow me to bring a trailer. And, if, and the reason why I'm, that's important to me is that my Tesla weighs about 4,600 pounds, so I have to have a trailer. So I need a diesel pusher to be able to tow a trailer to tow my car. And I'm also liking the idea of now RV parks because it's a community and it's roughly the same price of living as living with my roommate out in Katy. So I'm starting to get the idea that I might actually try this out. So I'm gonna try to look for jobs in, uh, in Austin. So yeah, this is kind of a cool part. Yeah, one thing I've been noticing is that a lot of these RV parks have different amenities. And amenities are really nice. 
This one has a uh, park. A bunch of vacant spots over there. A bench. I know I'm probably going to find some more elaborate ones, some more uh, decked out RV parks, but yeah. I'm, starting, I'm, I'm starting to get this RV behind because I sold my house and uh, you know, I'm looking to save money. I want to work. And when I was living in a house, I was having almost all my income eaten up with expenditures and shit. So, yeah. This uh, Highway 71 is definitely got a thumbs up. I'm giving it a good vibe score. Okay, so I wanted to make a little bit of a point since I'm getting my car charged right now at about 60 65 miles left still up on it and uh, right across from the gas station is one of the largest scams that really affect the Austin area and I found out about this as I was trying to explore Austin previously when I was trying to get a job at Tesla and it's these uh, these trailer parks now they're all over Austin and they're very scammy See what it is, is that the prices look very appealing. But under the fine print, you realize you're only buying the trailer. They still own the land. So you pay for the trailer and you want to move out, you have to, save the, you have to sell the trailer. And what they do is they keep uh, ramping up the price of your privilege to live on the land. So after you buy the trailer, you're still paying an enormous fee, kind of like rent or homeowners do. So you end up getting trapped in these. So a lot of these people are probably trapped in their trailers. They're very, uh, very scammy. And uh, I totally recommend never doing that. Uh, if I had a choice, and I do have a choice, if I get an RV and live in an RV park, I'll have the money, to, I'll have the ability to save up money and buy land, I could park my RV on land, uh, drill my own water well, put my own septic tank in, do my electric electricity, live on the land in my RV, and as I save up more money, or if I decide to invest, I could buy my own trailer, or, or pay for my own trailer, and put it on the land. Much more feasible. So, because land value has gotten so high in Texas, a lot of people are falling for this trailer park scam. So just be aware, don't fall for that shit. All right, so I finally made it to Estonia. And as you can see, relatively new place. It doesn't seem like it's been here for very long. There's a little bit more restrictions. Also a couple more perks. You see the building right here is real new. Uh, I asked her about it like a motorized dirt bike. Not on the grass, but on the concrete, as long as you tuck it away. And again, long term. And I started asking about trailers. So you can't leave the trailer attached to your uh, to your RV. So I'd have to, I would have to put it in storage with an additional fee, which is a little bit annoying. But it is what it is. So they're still building this place. Bathroom amenities. I mean, to small community still. I give it a good vibe. I like the other location better with that park and everything, but it's not too bad. I can't hear the freeway from this one. Not too shabby. So, yeah, this is a uh, Austonio or Estonia. I think that's how you say it, Austonia. About 850 unlimited. If you do monthly, it's $35 a night, which is kind of ridiculous. So they're expecting people to come here and stay here. 
daily has two rates. So I got a feeling this one has a little bit more of a nitpicky staff. So, but trash is every day. Not too shabby. All right, so I'm at this one location called KOA, oops, I'm in park. And uh, KOA East. So apparently this is corporate run. So it's she says it's a franchise, I got multiple locations. So they do have long term. And it's the most expensive I've found so far. Yeah, pardon me. And uh, at 925, a month depending she says uh, depends on the size so on and so forth but they have pools washer room game room so I'm taking a look around right now it's probably the most established park I found so far I think right there is the uh, wash arena and everything. My alarm's going off. I mean, not too bad, but again, a little bit more high premium price. So long term is three months or more. And uh, the rates are variable. Oh, there's the pool. I forgot to ask her about the whole seven year thing. Uh, I mean, sorry, uh, 10 year thing. Oh, the pool is really tiny. Look at that. Tiny little pool. So of course I'm looking for an older RV. That's the uh, showers. A little dock area right there. Or, I think there's actually a store. Look at that real quick. Yeah, that's the game room. So, I didn't really get out. It's actually not that big either. This is the most pricey one too. Man, look at these. Big ass RVs. That's something I'm kind of looking for. A giant diesel cooler. A nice used one, in good condition. People are selling them constantly in my area. So I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be able to get one for a decent price. But, anyways, this is a, uh, this is East KOA. I wanted to mention one more thing about this KOA location. They have a repair, RV repair shop, like literally right down the corner, like right outside the gate, which would be really convenient if I needed to service whatever I buy. If I decide to pull through and try to do this little adventure idea. So just to give myself a little note, there's at least one advantage being in this location. You have a repair shop, like literally a block away, so. All right, so this time I'm at Oak Forest. And this one's giving me a really good vibe. I like the woods, like the whole woods feel. And they're not pine trees, which is kind of cool. And uh, they had a bonfire location, two large lakes, bunch of dog parks, a uh, bunch of free location, they're not filled up. Some people have been living here for 15 plus years. 
It's just this one gives me a really good vibe. Now, this is now the top spot when it comes to price. $900 a month. It's flat out just $900 a month. She told me you can do weekly, and the longer you stay, they the actually lower the rate until you go up to one month. So, electric is not included. But, I like the woods vibe here. She says some people have been living here for 15 plus years. So, I'm coming up on the, one of the bonfire locations. So this one really gives me like that community vibe. There's something I'm looking for to meet people. See, uh, there's a the community bonfire right there. I think it's really kind of cool. I like that kind of stuff. Where where I'm right where I live right now in my current situation in life, there's this no dating pool. And if I can, oh, this is place is large. They got two locations, one on both sides of the road. The other one is still get. They're adding more facilities, she says. So you got wash arenas, all kinds of stuff. So I kind of put this one on top of my list if I want that larger community feel. So I mean, look at this, crazy. It's like I'm driving through the woods. And one thing I really like about all these RV parks, and I've only ran into one that has limitations that was at the raceway park is that there's no limit you're just you're just paying a, a fee and if you're ready to leave you leave so yeah I, I give this one a big thumbs up uh, I asked her about a trailer and she's like as long as you can fit the trailer in there they don't care so there was one place where uh, I would have to unattach the trailer and put it in like a storage area and they would charge me an extra fee. So as long as it fits in your spot, that's all that matters. So a lot of these people live here permanently and it's kind of rocking. I'm getting a hippie vibe in this area. So I didn't ask her about like dirt bikes or go-karts or mini bikes like that but the last two places I asked they're like you know as long as you're not running it around the grass so yeah I got a good vibe for this one so I'll put this one on top of my list this is uh was it oak forest so I'm assuming they call it up because of the oak trees so maybe my corridor into Austin might be this place $900 is a little steep, but you know, you're paying for the community and I want some community. I want to coerce, you know, one of the reasons why I really want to come to Austin is that the dating pool is so much superior than the Houston Katy area. So. Yeah. Let's see if I can take a recording of the pool. These little rental affordable home housing units. And one thing, one thing that really surprises me is how small Austin is. It's got a big freeway system, confusing road system, but all these places are just a hopscotch to downtown. So no matter where I choose to live, comparable to where I live right now, man, 20 minutes to me is a short drive. 15 minutes to me is a really short drive. So I'll most likely, if I got a unit, it'll probably end up being over here near the pool there's the pool right there so I'm digging it smooth roads really digging this one I could do $900 a month 
That's not including electricity, of course. I kind of like that spot over there. As long as the trailer fits, it kind of disconcerns me. See, I need to I need to tow my car to a location. And one thing I might have to do if I decide to live in one of these places is ask my parents, which they got multiple trucks, to grab my trailer. And when I need it, they bring it back so I can tow my car. Or I can just ask to use their trailer. Or just ask them to tow my car. I don't know. I have to bring it up. So I'm going to actually drive over here to this communal fire pit. I happen to really love chilling around fires and hanging out with strangers. Park on this gravel right here. All right, so this is Oak Forest. Probably my favorite RV park so far, mostly because of its size. And it's got communal locations, which I bloody love. So, ooh, ping pong. In memory of John Ronald Dean. Thank you for a lovely garden. I think this might've been a location where a long-term individual probably lived and they dedicated it into a park, which is kind of cool of them to do. Digging it, digging it. Do some more touring around here. So most expensive one so far, but also probably my favorite one so far. And it's getting late, so I might travel out to a couple ones that are up towards the highlands near the lake. Just because I've seen some pictures online and it look pretty awesome. And uh, I don't want to I don't want to get there before the office is closed. So anyways, yeah, digging it. So I'm at Big Oaks RV Park. This one's close to Lake Travis, and it's actually only $8.50 for the largest lot. Prices here are actually really good. The only disadvantage is that you have to drive through the urban dense part of uh, Austin to get over here. So this to get here, you have to travel what I like to think is the equivalent of the woodlands in Houston. So I would have to deal with traffic if I choose to live in this location. But it has that retirement vibe. It also has something I've never seen before. The absolute smoothest gravel road I have ever been on. It is almost concrete. It is ridiculous. I'm, I'm like driving on it and you can't even fucking... Sorry, I didn't mean to say that, but you barely feel the gravel. It's crazy. It's like they must have pounded it in or something. So, also it's got one of the best views I've ever seen. So I got a little dog park. You only got one bathroom. And the uh, lady who works here is in the uh, Austin Orchestra. And he, everyone since I've been to Austin has been super nice. It gives me that I want to move here vibe. So. Oh, you know, Wash Arena. Freaking awesome. Also, 
Well, one thing I really like about this place is that it's got the best view. I mean, yeah, this is the urban, dense, rich part of Austin, and everyone likes this area. But it's right next to Lake Travis. And uh, I want to see what's off this bluff. So I give this one a very good vibe, uh, just like my last location. Slightly cheaper, a little bit more of an annoying drive. And I'm acting like I already got a job in Austin. <laughs> Uh, she says they don't she doesn't know about the trailer parts policy. And there's a trailer right there I think she says as long as it can fit in a lot and big lots are pretty big here so But I really want to check out this bluff And look at this this is This is the best view as of yet Big open area I love the Highlands. The Highlands, like Marble Falls and just Lake Travis, and I can't remember the lake above Lake Travis is called, but this area generally just gives me a smile because it you're you're near a, a very hippie, hipsterish college town, and you're also right next to nature because unlike Houston, it's not super developed. There's not, there's still, there's urban sprawl, especially to get to this location. But I'm about to show you something really cool. And what I really love about this area, it's freaking hills, man. Look at this. So Lake Travis, I think Lake Travis is generally in that direction over there where that tower so here I'm really close to Lake Travis so primo location I gotta get a drink out here. this this is nice less community I think this has got more of a retirement vibe but digging this higher income neighborhood over there the one thing that's really interesting about the urban sprawl that I had to drive through to get here is that uh, right on my bad foot uh, it's old like the trees there are, are older so it's been there a while so this place is nice and, but if I if I got a job to be able to live here I would have to have it in a quarry or something I, I don't know what kind of manufacturing jobs are out in this area very curious about it so with all this uh, RV park I'm thinking about taking a half of what I have left from my savings buying an RV, parking it on my parents' property and looking for a job and having the job location kind of determine the uh, location where I want to park my RV. So there's a lot of them here. You know, with the cost of living and houses and housing prices, these are uh, relatively affordable. Of course, it's more minimalistic, but I like this place. I put it on a very good vibe level with one caveat location. It's if I got a job, say at Tesla, which what I'm trying to aim for, or other places, this would be one hell of a drive for me. So yeah. Anyways, now I'm gonna head downtown and check out the king of all RV parks. One that has a waiting list that I've heard that could be over three years. 
in, uh, I believe it's called Pecan Grove. And their office is gonna be closed, but I'm gonna drive over there anyways, just kinda check it out. Because it is like a historic landmark. And uh, there'd be a cold day in hell before I could ever get a pot spot there. And you're looking at $1,350 to $1,500 to get a spot. But it's in the dead center of uh, downtown Austin. So, yeah, I'm going to go check that out right now. So I'm walking up, I'm walking on a, walking up to a pecan grove, passing by this fancy Italian restaurant. A lot of pretty women here. I don't think their office is gonna be open. From what I read, uh, the owners make so much money with all the people permanently live here that you, know, you have to pay by month by cash and all that stuff. But I want to ask anyways. Yep, it's closed. No trespassing. Man. I really want to explore this place. This is the primo spot, right in the middle of downtown Austin. You can't see it right now because of all the trees, but skyscrapers. Over there you can see downtown, skyscrapers back there. But you feel like you're in the woods, and whoever got this spot, primo. Very primo. I really wish I could explore it, but I don't want to go trespassing. Man, it would be awesome to live there. To be able to just kind of go to the restaurants around here. I feel like a tourist. This is uh, the Keep Austin Weird District. Man, they do got some vacancies. I definitely will give them a call. You know, just, just to double check. Because I'll pay a hell of a dollar to live over here. Look at the artwork. nice local bar man to be able to walk to a bar oh man primo primo area I'm probably gonna get a bite to eat over here yeah I gotta I gotta at least try If I get a job out here, I gotta at least try to get into Pecan Grove. Fucking amazing. Oh yeah. Man. To be able to live so close to all these uh, Restaurants and food venues would be amazing. This is what I crave.
Man. Shoot, if I could afford to win the lottery, I'd buy this piece of property right here. <laughs> It'd be awesome. Live music. Okay, there's none of this vibe. None of this vibe in Houston. like a back area where I could peek in through this uh, RV park. I was on uh, what I believe was uh, Barton Springs Boulevard. Very happening, very happening there. Lots of beautiful women, just places primo. So even though I know I most likely won't get it, it at least throw a dart at it and see if I hit a target. Maybe I can put myself on a waiting list go somewhere else and then migrate over here in the future. That'd be a cool spot. But uh notice a lot of old people living over there. One hip hipster couple were picking up food. And I saw two people uh getting into a a lift or a uh I don't know what you want to call it. Uh Uber So, oh, there's like any crazy ass jaywalking laws here. This is the backside of the RV park. Seems to head straight into a uh, actual park, actually, which is kind of cool. Matter of fact, I'm going to check out the parking over here because uh, I want to drop my kayak into the water. Yeah, there's the back of the park. Okay, you know, uh, you know that place is packed. See, if I, if I lived at this park right here, I would want to get out to the back so I can come to the uh, this park and recreational area right here. Man. Some of us have dreams. Mine is no longer stuff. I want experience. I want ex the experience events. Yeah. Been living stagnated. Stagnated in my house for so damn long. And basically wasted away. Cashed in my, uh, my interest on my house, my equity lost my job over a daikin what I like to call a great job but it was my poison pill working nights basically I was paying the depressed tax you know if you don't know what the depressed tax is quite simply alcohol so every day I was off work working 12 hour nights all I did was go to the bar and the bars in Katie suck it was always the same crowd same people I became, it became very monotonous, very uh, boring. And uh, I was permanently stuck with one coworker. That was uh, another poison, part of my poison pill. You know, a lot of people didn't follow the proper PPE where I worked. And uh, I was set to a higher standard. And I knew eventually 
eventually they were going to get me. But I'm taking it with stride. I like to think of it as a domino that fell to try to finally get me to get out of my rut. I mean, it feels weird having your, the sun hit your face, you know? This is, this is what I crave. So I'm taking it with stride. But I'm gonna take the opportunity, I'm gonna try to move to Austin. But I'm gonna try to do it on an affordable level, which is very difficult. So it means I gotta go minimalist. I wanna go to the events here. There's a lot of events, Igor's birthday, ACL, a whole stew, a whole stew, a whole massive amount of events I don't even know about. And uh, I promised myself no drinking until I get a new job. It means I won't have a beer, not one beer, until I achieve my goal. That beer would be the sweetest beer I ever drink. But I won't touch touch any alcohol at all. My roommate's not going to convince me. No one's going to convince me. So, yep. I probably got a video of downtown. I had to sneak in through a trail. In my inflatable kayak as it's getting dark. So this is kind of dumb of me, but whatever. I really wanted to get a view of uh, downtown Austin as the sun was going down. I don't think I'm getting a very good view. I might try to zoom in. So many people out here at night. Ah, I wish I had my real kayaks. How about one of these? A paddle boat. Can I zoom in on this? Oh, there is a zoom. I just don't know how to use it. You zoom in. No! It's gotta be a way to zoom. Tap and hold the adjust zoom. I'm holding it. Ooh, ooh. I have discovered zoom on my camera. I want full zoom. Yes. Probably blurry. Okay. By the time I get down here, it's gonna be fun. I'm sure I can get closer. Oh no, it'll turn. It'll turn. I don't have my telephone. I am actually getting a bit by a mosquito. So I'm surprised. I wish I get closer. Let's get closer. No, aileron, aileron. I'm spinning around.
Fucking, I'll look backwards. There we go. Finally got kind of a good view of the downtown area. Ah, uh, not having that pin on the bottom of this thing is annoying. Is that the most I can zoom in? Nope. Hell yeah. That's an awesome view. I wonder which bridge is the one with the bats. I'm actually getting water in my butt. Still see myself? I'm dark. All right. So they give kind of an idea. I wish I could be doing this with a girl. <laughs> Man. Look at that city view. This is amazing here. Zoom in again. Can't stop looking at it. It's not the most beautiful down, downtown, but it's small, but it's nice. I really like the glow of the sunlight over the uh, glass. So, this is what I'm going to be doing staying sober keep my mind occupied try not to take that poison pill again but what's really cool even though it's dark I'm out here with a bunch of people There's probably like 60 70 people out here. I think zoom out here I think uh why did I said zoom out I honestly think I have better luck finding a woman and finding happiness here here than uh in, in Katie Houston generally yeah. so I just realized I'm actually caught in a current. So I gotta paddle all the way back to that bridge over there. I don't have my phone. I'm waiting at some foo foo restaurant that had uh, the highest rating I could find here. Ah, uh, Austin. I don't know, this might sound kind of, I don't know. I don't know if it would sound racist, but I think I know where all the white people went. Look at that. <laughs> I'm gonna sit at a bar and attempt to try not drinking. Try not to drink. Should be interesting. 